What's going on guys? This is Nick from Budget Build Garage and today, today's an awesome episode. Um, I'm going to introduce you to my next major project. This is something awesome, it's something I wanted to do forever. It's the reason I bought the El Camino. It's the reason I started this YouTube channel. Um, let me show you what I got really quick. Right here, this is a 350 small block. It is a roller motor. It is a one piece rear main seal. It is nothing particularly fancy. Like I said, just 350. The nice thing about this one is it's never been rebuilt. So stock bore and everything, and it's rebuildable. It looks great. So it's a pretty good little engine. This engine right here is actually pretty much the exact same thing the blueprint engine I showed you. Like that bottom end is essentially this, just 30 would over. So this is the other stuff I have for it. I got the set of heads. It's from RHS, Racing Head Services, 64, um, 64 CC head. It's pretty awesome. Nothing too major, it is it's a cast iron head, but it's gonna do what I need it to do for a while at least. I like them. Next up is this right here. This is a 5.7 forged H beam rod. Next to it, these are probe 30 over forged pistons. And next to it is a Victor Jr. manifold. It's actually already been ported a bit, so that's awesome. Now, all this stuff together, it's gonna be a 355 and with everything I have here, obviously I don't have the can. I already have the crank as well. It is a forged crank, it's just not here yet. All of this stuff is something I got from, uh, something I got from the guy that uh, is closing down the speed shop. Same guy I got the engine from, it's going in the Camaro. This is gonna be a cool little engine, as is it'd be fun for around town, a good street engine. But that's not, this is where it gets really interesting. Um, when I was younger, I saw Mad Max, and I loved it. We're talking Road Warrior. When I saw him in that blower car, I fell in love with superchargers. I love superchargers. I think they're the coolest thing ever. I think they're better than turbos. Wait, I think they're cooler than turbos, in my opinion. Turbos, man, they make a lot of power. It's hard to deny that. But what we have here is my new Pro Charger kit. Now, <laughs> Obviously this is not for my car. He had it new, it was in the box. I took all this stuff up, took all this stuff out of the box, laid it out so I can show you, and uh, let's go over it really quick. So, this is right here. This is my awesome Pro Charger. Next to it, my intercooler. And above that, my methanol injection setup. So, I will be pumping meth methanol into my fuel stream, keep everything cold, keep everything, also boost the octane. It's awesome. I'll run that off of a computer as well as probably three-step rev limiter. I want a rev limiter. I want a rev limiter, of course, for the top end. I want a rev limiter for leaving like, like a two-step. I also want a burnout rev limiter, so three steps. It's gonna be awesome. I got all these pipes and everything to deal with and make everything work. Um, these are the brackets, believe it or not. This is actually for a 7.4 so this is off of a big block, but one of the newer ones, like the late 90s, early 2000s. It actually pretty close to fitting from what I've seen. I'm gonna go ahead and call them and see if I can get the real brackets because I need the air hat anyways, and we'll see what we're doing. As far as, as, far as fuel, <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna run a carburetor. I think I'm gonna run like a throttle body, I might tap that thing and actually put injectors in it, or I'll do like a Phytech or a fast EFI setup that's set up for blow through. But I might just put a carb on it, we'll see. 
So this is what I'm making. Um, goals for the car. I'm not trying to be the fastest person ever. It's not gonna happen, but I do know the fastest car right now, I believe, is the Dodge Demon. It's running in the nines. I wanna be faster than that. I wanna be, I wanna be pretty quick. Um, to the point where it's like, hey, is your car faster than this stock car? Yes, yes it is, absolutely. There won't be a stock car you can buy faster than this car. Um, I wanna go to Drag Week. I've always wanted to do Drag Week. Everybody that's ever built a hot rod wants to do Drag Week and I'm gonna do it. It's gonna take me a while because we gotta do a full roll cage in the car. We gotta do some other fun stuff in the car. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna do everything. I'll show everything on camera. First thing I'm gonna do in the next episode is I'll tear down that block, um, tear it down to the bare block, take it to the machine shop, go 30 over, make sure everything's good. Um, dang, I feel like I'm forgetting a lot, but I'm really excited. So, I was negotiating with this guy for like a month before I got it down to a price. Like I said, I couldn't afford this stuff anyways, even at the price I got, but I had no choice because I needed it, I wanted it, and I wanted a Pro Charger. I think Pro Chargers are awesome. Um, it's nice because the fuel, um, the oiling system, you don't need an oil feed line, it's all self-contained, which means you don't need an oil return line. The nice thing about that is if you ever blow your engine, you're not shooting a bunch of shrapnel into your turbo or into your supercharger when it's a closed system like that. They do make pre-filters and everything, and I recommend them if you're going to use one, if you're worried about blowing something up, but with this way, when you change your oil, you just change the oil in, in the uh, actual blower. Let's see. Yeah, so there's the oil drain plug. This thing's pretty awesome, pretty massive. So yeah, that's really it. And here's my awesome, supposedly this guy's rated up to like a thousand horsepower. Um, horsepower go, horsepower goals. I don't know, I'd like to have eight off the crank, but we'll see. You know, at the end of the day, 700 would be pretty awesome. Whatever it takes to get me in the nines, that's where this car is going to be. And as far as transmissions, currently, sorry, currently, let's see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Power Glide. You know, it'll have a trans brake, so really it's just the two gears, fast and faster. As far as the rear end, definitely going to build a Ford 9 inch um, gear wise. I don't know. I don't think I'll need to be at 411s with the supercharger and a power glide. I think I could be like 373-ish, somewhere around there. And I think that'd be plenty to get me in the nines. It'd also be easier to leave the line like that. But I don't know, I gotta do some more, I gotta do some more thinking really. I might end up at a 411. But I need to be able to drive it at least at like 50 miles an hour, because again, I wanna do drag week. I don't want this to be a trailered car. If I wanna go racing, I wanna drive it to the track every time, so. That's something to think about. I need I need to be able to drive it. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff. Believe it or not, this is not this is actually not everything I got from the guy. This is just my favorite stuff and what I worked the hardest to get. Um, so yeah, I'll show you on the next episode some more normal stuff I got. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this project, and I will show you everything as we go along. Um, if you like this if you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you think the build's cool, let me know. If you don't like the build, if you think I'm wrong on something, let me know. I, I'll research it, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be offended by it. So, yeah, let me know. I'll look into it. But um, I think overall this thing's going to be awesome.